morning, welcome to the vlog. Now, for the sake of being totally transparent, I, <laughs> I'm not having the greatest time right now and today I woke up and again it started and I just I've had to stop and decide that I'm gonna fix this I'm going to make it better so I've just done a workout that I really didn't want to do it was really hard and I didn't enjoy it but I know if I move my body I'm gonna feel better for it and I've just had a shower and I'm just really trying to like pull myself back together so vibrations aren't going to be low in this vlog but if you wonder what I'm doing I'm, I'm trying to pull myself back together I'm just having one of those times where I've got certain things going on in my life and it makes everything else feel super trivial and I'm get, just getting a bit frustrated and like our Wi-Fi is not working, no Wi-Fi in the area is working properly so all the deadlines I have I'm missing and it's just piling up and I've had to just call stop. Now if you didn't know this about me, I'm a runner. I love to run away from my problems, not to get away from them, but to like solve them and process them in private and then come back and fix it. I'm a very much don't bring me a problem person, bring me a solution. And yeah, and it's taking everything in me right now, not to just like run away, try and fix everything and then come back. But that's not how life works, is it? But I do feel very tested right now. Even as simple as the shirt I just pulled out of the wardrobe, I put it on and it's covered in coffee. I <laughs> just everything <laughs> so instead I've chosen to put an outfit on that makes me feel really good really comfortable not fussy and we're going to get on with the day so I've had to just take a step back and just do what I can do today without you know there's just certain deadlines that I'm not gonna meet I've had to manage everyone's expectations all the Wi-Fi in the area was down last night and it's back now but the upload speed is so minimal I can't I can't send anything which is a bit of a problem but it's just one of those things I simply cannot control so I'm going to do what I can to make this day better and turn this kind of situation around this this unfortunate series of events so my hello fresh box should have been delivered this morning so i'm going to meal prep for the week which is going to be a super positive thing and then mum and i are actually going to go to the brand new restoration hardware it literally came to the uk maybe i think a month ago and i love rh in the us it's somewhere that i go to frequently and obviously i'm moving soon so i have a house to furnish so we're going to go to ain ho and go and see the showroom and and yes, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time and we've just not found time. And then this morning when I was just having a nightmare, mom was like, right, why don't we like do that this afternoon? That's gonna be really good. So I'm very grateful for her for, <laughs> for offering that. But we're moving on from any negativity. Today's gonna be a great day. I've pulled myself together. I've worked out, I've gotten ready. I've washed my hair. I feel great. We're gonna meal prep. It's gonna be fine, but you know, I feel like you know. <laughs> It's when it's one thing after another. It's also very much a haircut time. Can you see that? Let's put some perfume on. Ooh, so this is new from Jo Malone. It's their Highland Heather Cologne and it's so nice. It's very much like that musky kind of fragrance. I wonder what notes, oh it doesn't say. And it really smells like something. Either way it's lovely, so go and try it if you like Santel 33, Spice Bomb, that kind of Giorgio Armani C. Try this, okay. I think I'm okay. It's just so frustrating when you have so many people relying on you and you can't deliver what you need and it's just completely out of your hands. I spent about three hours last night driving around trying to get Wi-Fi and three hours this morning and I've just had to accept that I just simply cannot. But then it's the chain reaction of that. It's the people that then can't do what they need to do. And I'm so tightly booked this week that today was my day to get everything done. So I think I'm going to have to cancel something later in the week, which makes me feel so terrible because obviously I've committed to it. But yes, it is what it is. Is, is where I'm at and it's it's gonna be fine <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself so whilst we wait for my hello fresh box to be delivered I thought we could unbox my ninja creamy if you saw oh Maxi, do you want to go out if you saw my last vlog then you would have seen that I got this and I have been waiting for a moment to open it with you but I actually took all the pots out last night and I've made some mixes so we're actually going to make some today I've got my mix-ins here so I've got some cookie dough which I've actually perfected my brown butter cookie dough recipe some like shortbread biscuits strawberries and then just some like granola to go on top of the froyo I've done five different flavors and I am going to be trying them in this video so yes we have oh my goodness this is so exciting so first thing we have the pot that we spin it in and i guess the blades in there but i've read that the blade isn't sharp 
It's like a blunt blade. And this is my creamy. If you're not on Ninja Creamy TikTok, then have a little like search up because genuinely, my favorite thing to do in the evening is look at Ninja Creamy recipes. And as soon as I got this, I went straight to Sainsbury's because I knew exactly what mixes I wanted to make. I'll show you in the freezer in a second, actually. So these are the flavors that I did. This is strawberry cheesecake. We have just plain Froyo. This is chocolate protein, which I'm gonna add peanut butter to. This is strawberry sorbet. And this is cereal milk which, oh my goodness, so good. They're all completely made up eyeballed recipes. So I don't really know how they're gonna go, but I'm going to spin them after I've had lunch. So yes, I'll do that like this afternoon in a couple of hours. And perfectly timed, look what just got delivered. So I'm going to meal prep one of the meals. I always get them for four and then I can either share them with my family or if my family are busy like they are this week, Sophie's away in Paris, and my mum and dad are actually going away as well, then I can just meal prep them for myself. And I have plenty of lunches and dinners. So if you don't know about HelloFresh, everything comes pre-portioned, so there's no waste, you have exactly what you need. And these are the recipe cards that give you all of the instructions and it's super simple, super straightforward. I think all of the ones I got this time were rapid ones because I knew I was having a crazy week. So this is 25 to 30 minutes, 20 minutes, and this one is also 20 minutes. You know what? I'm going to make the sticky chicken and rice because this is just what I fancy and then it will make three other meal preps for lunches throughout the week. sticky chicken and rice. I can't believe I've never made this one from HelloFresh before. This is literally right up my street. Mm. Oh my gosh. I love anything pickled, pickled carrots. I also love peanuts. Okay, this is a solid 10 out of 10. You have to try this one if you haven't. HelloFresh have very kindly given me a code to share with you. Now, I think this is the best discount I've ever seen them give. So it's 60% off your first box and then 25% off the next two months and free gifts on top of that. So you can either use my code HFMLEC or you can scan the QR code on the screen and it will take you directly there. Mm -mm -mm, but this literally took me 20 minutes and it's divine. So I've meal prepped two portions and I'm just plating up one for mum for lunch when she comes down. I couldn't make this food and it smell amazing and her walk downstairs and me be like, yeah, it's meal prepped for me later in the week. There's enough for her to have a portion too. So yes, I'm gonna put this aside for her. So it's finally Ninja Creamy time. You have to take them out of the freezer about 10 minutes before you spin them. So I'm going to take them all out, set a 10 minute timer, and then we will start spinning and topping. I've got pretty much all of my toppings out ready like I showed you but this is so exciting I've been waiting so long for this I think I'm going to do the strawberry cheesecake first I've done a lot of watching videos on this and how it works and how it doesn't work I think essentially you have to end up spinning them twice and sometimes adding a little bit more liquid so I'm just gonna go with it and see how it goes this is a strawberry protein smoothie some like soft cheese and strawberries so we'll see how this wow it's grown let's see how we're looking Ooh, powdery okay oh <gasps> but it feels good i'm going to do a tiny bit of oat milk and pop it on for a respin a moment of truth <gasps> wow oh my goodness <gasps> it's perfect Oh my gosh. Mmm. Can you believe that? How? It's perfect. My goodness, this is about to be life changing for me. It's literal Froyo. I never have to buy another Go Greek ever again. Wow. Mm hmm. I'm never going to eat anything else ever again, just Froyo. Peanut butter granola Froyo. This is what I have for breakfast normally, but not frozen. Mmm. That looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. This is just chocolate protein milk. Is it? That's all it is. Wow, that's good. Mm. Ridiculous. 
Well, it's a big fat yes from me. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I normally eat this for breakfast, like this whole thing, this exact amount I have for breakfast. And it's just normal yogurt. Now I get Froyo for breakfast. So we're heading to RH, which is so funny to say, sat here in the UK. So as I was saying earlier, Restoration Hardware is a brand new store to the UK. But I, whenever I'm in LA, I go there like at least twice a week. It's such a great place for inspiration. The rooftop of the one in West Hollywood is beautiful. And I'm just really excited. This is a real like afternoon out. So I'm at the point in my renovation now where I do need to start thinking about furniture I have quite a few things I have two full storage units which is a problem in itself we're not going to talk about it but I have no outdoor furniture I don't have a desk I don't have a kitchen table I don't have bar stools there are so many things that I do need so hopefully this is going to be great for inspiration and hopefully I'll find some things I really like and can you know place orders I don't know it's crazy I actually have to do that though but it's very warm in here so I'm going to put the aircon on but I am driving myself and mother so I should probably put my bag in the back my car's full of stuff to take to my storage unit so maybe we'll do that as well but you see that's not fun my idea of fun is just going there maybe we'll get a coffee on the way and you know dilly dally mum will get in the car and go oh should we go to the storage unit I just want to enjoy myself that one one errand is one that I just don't like. <laughs> so we've just got here, valet parking at the car. Let's head inside, I don't know what to expect. So we've just walked through and straight out the back. Look at this view. This is insane. And we have some gorgeous outdoor furniture. I wonder if there's more. So they've very kindly given us a map. The property is huge. It's a little overwhelming actually. So I think we're literally just gonna have to wander around and see what we can find. I really hope there's some more outdoor furniture because that's what I really, ooh, really wanted to come look at. You guys, look, it's the cloud couch. I just think they're beautiful. I also do love the white, but it's just not sensible, is it? But saying to mum, I really do think I should get some lights like this. I think they'll be really nice. This is also lovely. It just feels very low and I'm more of like a high bed person. But I love the fact that the bedside table and everything matches. But yeah, just a little low. I'd have to put like four mattresses. <laughs> I think I find it really satisfying because everything's so even and balanced. It's all symmetrical. I think that's why I like it. Imagine waking up here every day and seeing this. Insane. Now I want to live in the country. Again with the symmetry. Mm. I'm getting so much inspo, but the reality is I actually can't fit much of this in my house because it's a small terraced house and all of the furniture is huge. I feel like they need to do like a special London heritage Victorian terrace rage where everything's mini. <laughs> There's just stairs everywhere and we just don't know where we're going. Oh, the banisters, yeah. Yeah, no, completely. In the typical RH style, there is mirrors everywhere. <gasps> wow. Beautiful, isn't it? That's gorgeous. There's another set of stairs. So, this is a whole suite. There's this kind of little study room. And then through here, we have the bedroom and then through the other way which you can loop through the study as well there's a living area with this is a gorgeous couch I think this is the cloud couch but in like a boucle oh that's so soft it's fleecy it's not like boucle as you know boucle it's really soft I like that wow it's not what you think is it no so lovely. The light is just beautiful, but it genuinely is a whole day out, isn't it? Wow, yeah. If we're gonna come here. <laughs> I mean, you can get coffee here, they do pizzas here, I've seen. But it is a whole day out. We came on the best day for the light, though. So this is the west wing, we haven't come down here yet. But there's no outfit. I feel like I briefly showed you earlier. But I got my build. What can we find? See, this is more like it. I love a high bed. It's a much better height. I like to just kind of sit up on my bed. I don't know why, I just have always liked it. Oh, these are nice, aren't they? 
See, I could only I could only fit one bedside table, couldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> um, mm, maybe no. But would it make the room look tiny? Yeah. What's the point? Yeah. But I do like it. This isn't really my vibe, but I love the felt cushions. I'm really going for different textures in my house, so I think I might actually get those. I also love the bedside tables. Look at those. Hmm, suits you. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, it feels It looks beautiful. solid. It's giving bachelor, but I do quite like it. It's a bit masculine for me, but I think this is really beautiful. So mum, what did you think to Restoration Hardware? Your first first taste of RH? Um, it's stunning. Mum was so confused when we walked in. She was like, wait, what? what is this? And I feel like as we walked around more of the edges of the building is where mo most of the furniture was. And upstairs. Yeah, it, it's... It's quite a bizarre concept to get my head around because I've never been into anything quite like that. Mm. Um, it feels like you're walking around a hotel. Yes, yeah, yeah. And with with the most beautiful suites all set up. Mm. Um, we have to come and eat, everything. don't we? But yeah. How many restaurants? Four? There was the pizza, the juice place, the conservatory. Maybe that was it. Outside as Outside, well? Outside, yes. We, we, I feel like I want to come and try everything. We're home. I have just eaten so much of my Ninja Creamy ice cream. I ate the chocolate one and the Froyo. So there's literally only three tubs left but at least I know it's good. Honestly, what a great product. It's one of those things that looks so gimmicky. And I was like, if this works, this is going to be game changing. And lo and behold, it actually does what it says on the tin. I'm about to go for my evening walk and then I will catch up with you when I'm home. I'm just staring at my cute little bag. Isn't this adorable? I think I might use this tomorrow when I go into London, but I have to take my laptop and everything like that. So it's just a lot, but obviously my laptop wouldn't go in here. I would take a tote, <laughs> but I also am going to get my nails done tomorrow because I don't know if you've spied the one single bare nail. It's a, it's a problem. Good evening. I've just finished up in the shower and I'm going to brush my hair. If I can find a hairbrush. <laughs> That would help. I am going into London tomorrow, so I was just packing my bag. I'm having to take a backpack, which is a little annoying, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I also took the rest of my gels off because you know when they're just past the point? So I need to douse my hands in nail oil which I will do. But first, let's do some skincare. I actually took all of my skincare products out of my travel makeup bag. <gasps> no, I finished it! This is my L'Oreal Revitalift Filler Moisturizer. Everyone asks me what I've been using with my new face. And because you have to have something for the, like, the current to connect to. So basically, I just use a super hydrating moisturizer and then a moisturizing spray and it works the same as, well, it doesn't work the same as a gel, but it, it works. And I find that the best. Well, now I need to find a new moisturizer, but that's good. I'm supposed to be using things up. The next target is this. Today was so great for getting house inspiration. I really haven't bought anything new furniture wise. So it's good just simply, yeah, for inspo. I do think now I'm going to get a new bed and I think I'm going to put the bed I have in my guest room uh, just because I've seen so many lovely beds. Actually, maybe not immediately. Maybe not, I don't know. I want a new bed, but I don't need a new bed. There we go. <laughs> Let's be honest. Today ended up being a really lovely day, but you know how it started. I really didn't hit my deadlines I needed to hit or anything like that. And it was all out of my control, but everything will be sorted by 9 a.m. tomorrow and it'll be fine. I just hate letting people down. It's a horrible feeling. And I know as things go along, the chain, it's just, it gets more and more annoying for people when you can't get things on time. But anyway, all will be solved tomorrow. I've just started pulling a potential outfit for tomorrow. It's 21 tomorrow, which feels cold in terms of England right now. But in terms of London, I feel like I'm gonna be super warm, but I have to take my laptop, so I'm gonna have to wear a backpack. 
I don't know. I'm going to miss this moisturizer. It was the perfect one to use because I could put my moisturizer on there and then I could put my little tan drops on there. And I had somewhere to mix it that was sanitary. I've been using these from Saint Tropez. They're the Lux Tan Iconic Drops. And I use like half a pipette, probably too much. My face never tans compared to my body because I use so much SPF on my face that it just stays pale. Although, I do have some freckles right now, which I'm a bit sad about because I've been very careful. I guess I've just been in the sun a lot. And then on my nails, I'm going to use just some London Grace nail oil. This is good. I find some oils make gel nails not stick. So I was using this one oil and then my gels would stop peeling after two or three days. And I was like really confused. Stopped using it and just started using the actual nail oil as, you know, probably makes sense. And they're fine, so my fault i was going to get them redone tomorrow but now i'm like oh i should probably have a break i'm feeling like i need a major reset so i do think i'm going to pick a day soon and go and get haircut facial i was gonna get my laser hair removal topped up but i'm too tanned now i would definitely get told off and they definitely wouldn't do it <laughs> well my friends it is that time of night i'm up bright and early so i will see you i don't even know when i feel like i have so much to share over the next few weeks there's gonna be plenty of vlogs so i'll see you in the next one goodbye